Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about the new screenshots that have just emerged, showing us that Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl have actually had some changes made since their original reveal back in February. Now, it's not a ton, but I wanted to talk about it because I think it signifies a lot, and it could also tell us why we've waited a bit to see more footage. With that being said, let's jump straight into the video. Now, I want to preface this by saying that I did not find this myself. I actually found this from a YouTuber and from a, uh, a popular Pokemon leaks and data mining Twitter account. Uh, I'll leave the link to his tweet down in the description below if you guys want to go check out the original screenshots and the original GIF that he put together showing the change for yourself. But essentially what we're seeing here is... This is from the Japanese Nintendo Switch eShop. And when you went onto the Japanese eShop and you went to the Brilliant Diamond page or you went to the Shining Pearl page, as you know with the Switch eShop, you can see screenshots from the game that you're looking at. You can see not only a cover image for the game, usually they'll put a trailer there so you can watch a video of the game itself. And then you can cycle through a bunch of screenshots that show some of the different things that you can do in the game. So there were changes made to Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl's eShop page, and we have them right here. So I'm going to pull them up right now. I actually, I, I, I don't know why I said I'm going to pull them up. I'm looking at them at the time already. This is a battle scene. So in this screenshot, you can see that there's the trainer and he's facing a Shinx. Now, this is where things become interesting because there's a lot of changes from when this screenshot was updated to when the games were originally released in February. Now, we're going to go through some of the changes. We're going to talk about what this could mean. So the first and most obvious change is the sizing of the character models and the Pokemon model, as well as the placement of the camera. In the first screenshot from February, you can clearly see that Lucas's character model is a lot larger on the screen, and he's also lit a lot clearer. When you look at the second screenshot, you can see that Lucas is further down on the screenshot. He's significantly smaller than he was in the first, and he's also a lot darker. The same thing is true for the Shinx. The Shinx in the first screenshot is a lot lighter and a lot larger than the Shinx in the second screenshot. Now, it's not just that these models have been resized, or at least that there's a perception that they've been resized. The camera angle of the battle scene is also different. And there's a couple reasons we know that. If you look into the background of the scene, you can see that in the second screenshot, we're seeing more of the background. You can see more of the trees. You can see the trees look slightly further away. Overall, the entire image seems to have been given some more depth and some more largeness compared to the original where things were more zoomed in. Now, there's also some interesting things to notice about the background of the screenshot itself. This, oh, by the way, these are like my favorite videos to do, just examining things. They might be a little boring for some, but I like them. Take a look at the rock fixtures behind where the Shinx is. As you can see, the rocks have significantly been retextured. In the first screenshot from February, the rocks appear to be a lot, let's use the word smooth. They don't look as detailed. They don't look as sharp. When you look at the second screenshot, the environment itself is just a lot sharper. Not only does the, do the rocks look sharper, but the light reflects in a different way off the rocks. On top of that, the trees also look sharper and the trees are also differently modeled, if only slightly. You can see that in the main tree that's, you know, to the right of Lucas's head in the screenshot. You can see that it's it's a lot. It looks to be a lot taller. It looks to be a lot further back. The, the lighting as a whole has changed slightly. You can see more of different parts of the tree. You can see more of the tree, for example, above Lucas's head than you can see in the first screenshot. Overall, the lighting just significantly for the entire screenshot has changed a bit. It's the way I would describe it is in the first screenshot, everything is a lot more washed. It's a lot more washed in bright light, especially the ground. Take a look at the grass and then take a look at the dirt in the first screenshot. Everything has this more, more of a slick coating of lighting to it. When you look at the bottom, the lighting is toned down a bit. The brightness of the dirt and the grass itself is also toned down a bit. But the green grass in the second screenshot does appear to be more flush. There's not as much detail in the grass of the screenshot. It's a lot more uniform. That might be the only thing that I would actually prefer from the first screenshot is 
In the first screenshot, you can clearly see that the grass itself has more varied coloration to it. Some darker patches, some lighter patches. In the new screenshot, it's a lot more of that lighter, neon-ish looking grass that is more consistent with the original games, to be fair. But it's just different. It's a different way of texturing the grass. The sharpness is the one thing that I think is the most significant. You can see the improved sharpness on all everything. Not only can you see it on the backgrounds, which I mentioned before, but you can see it on the models themselves. The Shinx is a lot sharper. The Shinx is in its same uh, emotional pose, its battle pose when it's coming into the encounter as it is in the first screenshot. So we know this is the same thing. It's making that growling animation at the player character, but it's just a lot sharper. There aren't a lot of changes with the grass. The grass is in the same spot. Overall, there's not a ton of difference, but it's these subtleties and these small differences that I think make a big deal and I think makes the second product a lot sharper. Now, are there things that you could mix here and you could get ultimately the best product? I think so. I think the first screenshot is too bright, specifically talking about Lucas's character model, but I think the second screenshot is too dark. You got to deal with that. You've got to find a happy medium. I think the Shinx is properly lit in the second screenshot. And when looking at the second screenshot, you can see the flaws of the first. When we first saw this gameplay in February, the Shinx, looking back at it, looks too bright. He doesn't look kind of within his environment as much as he should. In the second screenshot, that's alleviated, and the Shinx looks much more normal. Also, the sizing of the Shinx is a lot better. Lucas looks like a giant in the first screenshot. I, we'd never noticed it until now because a lot of it is tricks of a camera angle within the game, but just the simple shift in the camera angle makes Lucas look a lot smaller and it makes Lucas fit in more with the world. There's, there was an interesting discussion when these games first got revealed that in the overworld, the characters are so vastly different from the way the characters look in the battle scenes. The battle scenes are a lot more like modern day Pokemon games in the 3D generation, especially with Sword and Shield. The battle style is very similar, and yet the overworld has been brought back to the, the, the smaller, scrunched down models that we used to know, of course, in a different art style. So this is a, this is a different change, and it's, it's significant that it, it seems as if the model is smaller than it was before, even if it is just a trick of the camera, which we're not totally sure about at the moment. It does look different. The lighting looks a lot better. The sharpness of the screenshots look a lot better. Overall, it's just a much improved product. So that brings us to a big question. They've made changes and progress since the original uh, videos were released, showing off these games. Of course, in the direct, we got Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and Legends Arceus. We haven't seen anything since. They're clearly working on these games. That's clearly not done. So are we going to see more changes like this when we finally get a trailer, whether it's next week or the week after that? We're kind of working on bought, bar, bought and borrowed time at the moment where we're in, a, we're in a point in the release cycle where typically we see new footage and we just haven't seen it yet. So what does this all mean? Well, if you ask my opinion, what I think it means is this game is still being polished. The final touches are still being put on it, and they're going to take all of their time up until release to do that. If the product continues to get sharpened and adjusted in these ways, I think we're going to have a much nicer looking product than maybe some people felt we originally had at launch. Now, it's fair to say, with all of that being said, if you don't like the art style, these changes are not going to move the needle for you. They're not fundamentally restructuring the game. They're not changing the art style. They're not changing the way they're going about handling this remake. What is here is here. There's going to be small alterations and changes as we get along, and we'll probably see those in a trailer, and they're going to be subtle. These screenshots are very subtle. The most obvious change is in the two models, but I think the most interesting change, as I mentioned before, is in the backgrounds. So there's a lot to look at, there's a lot to examine, and ultimately, I think we're once we see some more footage, we're going to have a lot more to go off of. Now with that being said, what do you guys think about these changes? Do you think the screenshot makes the game look better? Do you think it looks worse? Are you indifferent? I would love to hear what you guys think down in the comments section below, and if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like as well. It helps with me, and helps the video do well. It helps tell me what kind of videos you guys want to see in the future, and what kind of stuff you'd like to see me make more of, and you know, make less of, depending on how what you guys think of it. It's a good, it's a good way to tell me what you guys think. With that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.